Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes, and I'm here with a video to talk about pyrokinesis and how we manifest pyrokinesis with our intention and intuition and our body and mind. And uh, what I'm going to show you is, um, I'm going to talk about some theories of mine and how uh, we affect uh, papers and things like that and how we burn them. Now I'm going to show you some clips. It's called a fire syringe. They're kind of quick, so you have to look very closely. Um, these people are going to put some pressure into the syringe. They're going to burn a piece of paper with nothing but air. They're going to burn a paper with air. Right there, look closely. And right here's gonna be a little slow. They're putting pressure in this fire syringe, and that they're just burning the a piece of cloth with air. That's what they're doing. So my theory is is that uh, we're exciting, and we're creating a kinetic uh, a kinetic uh, a stimulation with the air molecules, and possibly with the with the atoms that they're made up of, and the atoms that surround them. Um, when we when we utilize our intention, our intuition, to uh, to create uh, heat and to burn a piece of paper, a toilet paper, um, what we're doing is that we're exciting, uh, we're creating a kinetic thermal um, friction amongst these uh, these molecules, the air molecules and the the, mo the air molecules that are flowing through and around the ambient energy around the 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 paper or the or the cotton paper, or whatever you see. Right there, you see a spark right there, and uh, we're 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 we're, we're uh, exciting them to where they're rubbing against each other so much that they burn the paper, that they become a flame themselves, burning the paper. They do not. Um, the air doesn't burn uh, on its own. It has to have something for it to connect to in order for there to be um, a sign that there's some thermal energy going on. And so that's why there's a paper. Now, of course, um, right here in this picture, you see that there's uh, it's it's enclosed, it's encapsulated, it's a uh, pressure. We're, we're applying pressure here, but it's not the same exactly. But but nonetheless, um, with our minds, we're creating thermal uh, kinetic energy by exciting the molecules, the air molecules, and the and the atoms in between them, and the atoms that they're made up of. We're exciting them, rubbing them together, to where they create friction, thermal friction, thermal kinetic friction, and where they're able to then burn any surrounding object or nearby object around them. There's thermal energy around them, and uh, creating this spark or flame that we see. Now I'm gonna show you a clip of this. You've seen this before of a top five videos. See, what's going on is that we're utilizing the air molecules with their intention, intuition. We're exciting the molecules, creating thermal kinetic energy, rubbing them and bouncing them together so fast that we're burning the surrounding objects around us. And the things that burn easy is the paper. Anything that's surrounding it, that's flowing through it, the air is flowing through and around it, the molecules, the ambient energy, the particles, the the atoms, they burn because our intention, intuition, may be affecting them. And that's my, my theory. You've seen this before. And so that's basically what my theory is, is that uh, with our intention and intuition, we're utilizing just like in the same principle as this fire syringe. We're, uh, we're uh, creating a sense of it's not pressure, but what it is is that we're exciting a certain uh, isolated location, an isolated location where the molecules are occupying in a specific area, a pocket. And in this pocket, there just happens to be uh, a piece of paper that we intentionally place there because with with our intention, we want the paper to burn. But what's going on is that we're probably um, creating thermal kinetic uh, um, friction and, uh, and, and energy by exciting these molecules in that specific area. The paper is not burning itself. The material may not be burning itself, but what it is is that the molecules and the atoms and the air particles are exciting or connecting and rubbing against each other so much that we're creating a, creating a kinetic thermal um, um, friction that the paper just happens to be in the location where it's creating, where it just reacts and gets affected by that energy. And uh, that's just my theory, and this is a good theory. This is a fire syringe, like you know, it's not pressure, but this is my theory, man. And here's a small little clip for you guys, uh, just something for you guys to eat on and to just kind of digest and think about. Thank you guys for watching. Resist, but God bless.